Data Color Tools employs the use of a desktop environment and offers immediate visibility to manage and view desktop data from one place, as well as access most QC operations for standards and batches with one mouse click. When the program opens, the screen contains three areas. We will give a brief overview of these areas and then go into each one in detail. The top of the program offers a new user interface that emulates Microsoft Office 2007. When the program opens, the Home ribbon bar is shown by default. Command tabs replace original pull-down menus. Within the command tabs are command groups. Command groups are functions that are logically grouped together to allow fast access to information needed. The large round button to the left of the Home tab is known as the Tools button and is used for opening and printing forms and templates as well as quick access to those items that have been opened during a session. Configuration options for the home bar and exiting the program are also located here. Next to the tools button there is a small down arrow that allows you to customize the quick access toolbar and ribbon bar management. On the left side of the screen resides the desktop explorer. This is the primary area for data management. The Desktop Explorer has streamlined the approach of accessing data by introducing Windows features. For example, many options can be displayed by using a right-click function on a desired object. A right-click on the word Desktop allows the user to retrieve, list, delete, and import standard data. Once a standard is added to the desktop and that standard is highlighted, Desktop Explorer offers information on that standard. If a user highlights a standard and right clicks, new options are available associated with that standard. Options such as Store Current Standard, Retrieve Batch, Retrieve Sample, Retrieve Standard as Batch, and many others are available. Here we will retrieve a batch. The user still has the option to use command buttons to perform these tasks as well. Once a batch is retrieved, batch information is also available below. There is also the ability to click on the Tolerance tab and view current system and standard tolerances. The final area takes up the rest of the screen for the program. This area is used to display templates and or legacy forms. Forms were used in previous versions of tools and are allowed to be used in the new version. Templates are preset panes, like window panes, that are a change in the way data is presented and will be the focus of this video. The software comes with three templates already created. In the example, a three-view template is shown. The template shows three distinct areas, a standard and batch data grid, a color difference plot, and a color patch. As can be seen, our standard and batch data is visible here. If more room is needed to display more of the template, the user has the option to minimize the Desktop Explorer by clicking on the double arrow in the top right corner of the navigation pane. Clicking on the double arrow again restores the pane. 